Illinois Fishes, Part 1. Illinois is home to a wide variety of fish species. Because so many species exist, they exhibit a huge range of habits and characteristics. This program will discuss the families of fishes represented in the state and show some of their representatives. The descriptions will include some basic fish anatomy. Let's review a few of the parts of a fish. A. Pectoral fin B. Pelvic fin C. Anal fin D. Caudal fin or tail fin E. Dorsal fin F. Operculum or gill cover G. I H. Mouth Lampreys Lampreys have a skeleton made of cartilage and a long tube-shaped body. They have seven gill openings on each side of the head, no pectoral and pelvic fins, one nostril, no scales, and no jaws. Some lamprey species do not feed as adults while others act as a parasite on fishes, attaching with their mouth and scraping flesh and fluids with their teeth on their tongue and oral disc. Lampreys have an immature form known as an amocete. Silver Lamprey American Brook Lamprey Sturgeons Sturgeons have a skeleton made of cartilage. Their mouth and four large barbels are located in the bottom of the shovel-shaped head. The tail fin is deeply forked. They live in lakes and rivers. Lake Sturgeon Shovel no sturgeon. Paddlefishes. Like the sturgeons, paddlefishes have a skeleton made of cartilage. Their mouth and two small barbels are located in the bottom of the paddle shaped snout. This species lives in slow flowing waters of large rivers, usually in water more than four feet deep. It is a filter feeder, straining small organisms like plankton from the water as it swims. Paddlefish Gars Gars are covered with diamond-shaped scales. They have elongated, toothed jaws. Their body is cylindrical and the caudal fin is rounded. Gars are often found in slow-moving segments of rivers and lakes where oxygen in the water may not be plentiful. They survive in these locations by using their gas bladder, which is attached to their throat, as well as their gills for breathing. Gars can often be seen gulping air at the water surface. Gars are predators of other fishes. Long-nose gar Bowfins Bowfins have one dorsal fin that covers more than half of their total length. They have a large bony plate between their lower jaws. The bowfin and gars are remnants of an ancient group of fishes that is ancestral to most of today's fishes. The bowfin is often found in swamps, sloughs, ditches, and oxbow lakes. It is active at night hunting fishes and crayfish. Its gas bladder functions as a supplement to the gills and bowfins may gulp air at the surface for this purpose. Bowfin. Moon eyes. Although this category of fishes is called moon eyes, it includes both moon eyes and gold eyes. These silvery fishes are compressed from the sides, giving them a tall, thin appearance. They have very large eyes. They can be separated from the similar shad fishes due to the presence of a lateral line and a keel on the belly that is not toothed. Teeth are present on the jaws, roof of the mouth, and tongue. Moon eyes have a small triangular projection, the axillary process, above the base of the pelvic fin. The dorsal fin is immediately above the base of the anal fin. Their eggs drift in the current until they are stopped by an obstruction. No other North American fishes produce this type of semi-buoyant egg. Gold eye. Moon eye.
Freshwater eels. Eels have no pelvic fins. The scales on the body are very tiny. The dorsal, caudal, and anal fins are merged into one continuous fin. These snake-shaped fishes have an interesting life cycle. Adults migrate to an area in the Atlantic Ocean to reproduce and die. The larva that hatches from the fertilized egg makes a one-year trip to the shores of North America. After maturing, male eels remain along the coast and females move upstream where they may live for 15 years. American Eel Herrings Herrings are silvery, flat-sided fishes. They have a ridge on the middle of the belly with sharp, pointed scales. They have no lateral line and no scales on the head. They resemble members of the Munai family, but differ in having the dorsal fin far forward of the anal fin. A small, triangular projection, the axillary process, is present above the base of the pelvic fin. Alewife Gizzard Shad <laughs>